Blagnes Kalamard is one of the few people to have heard the tape of Mr. Hershokshi's last moments. United Nations Special Rapporteur, leading the investigation into his killing, concluded that the state of Saudi Arabia was responsible for a premeditated extrajudicial execution. She has been critical of the Saudi Crown Prince's comments yesterday. And she joins me now live from Istanbul. You heard the Crown Prince say that he takes full responsibility. It was on his watch. Your response? Well, um, two, two reactions to it. The first one is that implicitly he recognizes that this was a state killing, that this was a murder for which the state is responsible to the extent that he is a state, that he is a quasi head of state. This is something I have been uh, asking for on the basis of my findings for the last three months as uh, something that the, the authorities have rejected. So I am uh, glad somehow that there is now a formal recognition that this is a state uh, killing for which the state of Saudi Arabia is responsible. Secondly, though, uh, the Crown Prince takes great pain distan distancing himself, creating barriers and layers of people in and institution between the killing and himself. And that uh, distancing for me is not uh, backed by the evidence that I have provided in my report. The relationship between those that perpetrated the killing and the Crown Prince are close enough far closer, in fact, than he is prepared to recognize it. Uh, and, in, and in his statement, he still fails to recognize his personal responsibilities. All he is doing is what um, corporate actors, head of state, typically do to um, move away from, uh, from the, uh, the focus. Uh, he is claiming some high-level responsibilities, but refuses to acknowledge his personal liability okay. for, for the killing. 